Okay, now that we got the automate opened up, what we want to do is take the pigtail portion, which is this, and unravel it. And this here is going to be about the hardest part of the whole operation. Uh, my idea is to uh, snake this wire through this little corrugated protective tube and through this hole. Uh, so what I want to do is pull this corrugated tube off there like that. And I want to position a cable like that. And the first thing we have to do is carefully snake these clip leads through this hole, which the hole is plenty big enough if you're careful. So there's one, and there's two, and get the ground lead. And We want to stretch it out so that it's about the same length as where the motor cables uh, come into the control box, which is right about there. That way it, it'll allow the pigtail, I'll move this camera over here, to just for the uh, time being, just tuck itself back in there real nice. So if you're not using the test set, that uh, female cable will stay there. So here comes the tough part, or at least what I think is a tough part, is trying to get this corrugated tubing back over here which by itself isn't so bad. This 18-2 cable is a little thicker than I expected, but the upshot is it's gonna be good and durable and it'll look professional. Come on, Iffy. And you wanna get these sensor leads in here. Like that. Now, uh, earlier I said I think this is the toughest part. Maybe I'm being anal about it, but I'm going to move the camera. I want to try to get this corrugated tubing back through the uh, metal housing here, like they originally had it from the factory. And it's going to be a little difficult because now the, the bundle is a little bit thicker. But if you're careful, you might have to coerce it with a screwdriver or something. Personally, I wouldn't worry about it. I would just butt it up against the, the frame and call it good. But there might be some folks who want to make it look just like factory and I don't blame them. It does take some doing. It can be done. If anybody has a better idea, I'm all ears. Yeah, it looks like I'm mangling up some of it. Okay, there we go. And you might have to roll it around, get it positioned the way you like it. Okay, so we'll call that good. And make sure that the sensor wires stay in there. Oops, we're coming on again here after all. Let me get him underneath there a little more. I really wish this wire was a little thinner, but unfortunately, that's what I end up getting stuck with. There we go. Okay. You can kind of roll it around if you want. Put that slot up top. Or however you think it looks best for your installation. Okay, like I said, I think that was the hardest part. The fun part is hooking it up. Either one of these wires goes to, let's see, it's R3. <clears throat> and I'll show, uh, I'll provide some still photos so that everybody knows where this clips to. It'll be the outside side of R3 for one of these, doesn't matter. Okay, next one, don't know if we can see it, uh, but it'll be R2. The only thing important about this one is make sure that the hook is facing toward the motor, like this, if you can see my finger. Uh, it makes it easier to take off if you have to ever have to take it off. And again, he goes on the outside of, oh no, I think he's on the inside of R2. Let me see, yep, the inside of R2 like that and those are two test clips now there is one wire that has to go in the terminal strip I'm not sure you could see this but it goes under the outside terminal of the terminal strip now you have to be really careful because there's a wire already in there for the sensor so but there's plenty of room in here so what we want to do is take a small electronic screwdriver and open up this screw you open him up three or four turns 
it's not going to fall out. The more you open it, the wider the mouth opens. Just very carefully stick that lead, which is pre-tinned so it doesn't fray, and just sneak him right in there alongside the other wire. And make sure that the other wire is in there nice and firm. I like to try to get them side by side because it's just the nature of the way this thing clamps and just tighten her up good and snug. The very most important thing about this whole operation folks is make sure that those wires are in there tight mainly the sensor wire. So give her a gentle tug on both of them and uh, if they're firm that's it. So then we just go ahead and plug in the other half the business end of it. It's going to drop it on the floor. Take our pigtail over here and plug in the, the uh, pedal. Okay, uh, let's see. I installed this, I had it leaning on the left side. Whatever way you guys think is better. You might find it better to turn the automate this way on his back and work on it. Uh, but in any event, the most important thing, let me get a power cord. Just plug it in and test it before you uh, put your 9000 back on it. So we just plug in the power cord. Turn the device on. Keep your hands clean, uh, free and press the button. Or the pedal I should say. And let go. And you're good to go.